Welcome back, friends. This is Salomon Jagwe. I'm back with another quick insight. If you are, I guess you could be under a rock, but I hope you're not. Today, the Unreal Engine 5 was finally released in its fullness. <laughs> I've been waiting for such a long time. Well, all been waiting for such a long time since last year. But so many cool things have been added, you know, free games and the city, you know, that city that they announced in the Unreal Engine experience for the Matrix 4. Well, it's finally here, and I'm actually downloading it right now. It's about 86 gigabytes of data. <laughs> That's how big it is. So if you're going to download this, make sure you free up a lot of space. And uh, the announcement was made on their YouTube channel. I attended that briefly. I was able to catch the rest of it. And in the marketplace, you're going to see a lot of new uh, things that are, are Unreal Engine 5 related, like compatible elements. And the crowd, sample crowd system is here. I am excited to go in there and check it out and the cars as well. So these characters, I saw them walking on the street when I was uh, testing out on the Xbox uh, X series, Series X. And now we have access to them and be able to use them on our in our environment. So look at all the clothing that now the meta humans have. I can't wait. So I'm downloading all these guys. I'll be able to share my thoughts and first impressions. But it finally, finally, the day we've been waiting for is here. The Unreal Engine 5 is available to download. And off the top, like when you go to the very, on the Unreal Engine website, you can see the announcement, uh, April 5th, and so many cool things that have been uh, added. You know, Lumen has been in production. Now it's uh, production ready. Nanite is production ready. And all the way down to building character and mission tools. I, I Man, this is exciting, guys. We're, especially for us in the indie filmmaking community this is a day to celebrate because we're finally going to be able to use this engine in its fullness and i'm hoping that all the plugins will become available as well because those plugins really drive what we use it for especially when you're creating like character animation for you know facial animation things like that and i'm super super excited and of course path tracing because i noticed that uh, the meta humans had issues with path tracing and I'm hoping that in this new version, all this been has, has been fixed and we'll be able to use them in their fullness because it's awesome to render in Lumen, but sometimes you want that extra level of realism. And that's what uh, path tracing does. I can't wait to try that out. Uh, for It looks like it's supporting hair primitives, right? And the eye shader model. Before there are some things that we had to actually disable just to make it work. I'm hoping that is also fixed. And then you can go through and look at the release notes, but uh, this is exciting. They have the Lyra Stata game that they've added. That's awesome. But I think the most exciting part of it all, guys, is the release of a Matrix Awakens, the Unreal Engine, X, Unreal Engine 5 experience model. This is the one that I'm downloading right now. And I can't wait to go to down to the level, to the ground level and see all of that. And also the vehicles that were in that uh, build. And so I think one thing that I'm looking forward to is finding spots. It's almost going to be like a location scouting that I want to be able to find spots in the city to create short films. You know, so I, because it's so massive, you could find a place anywhere and create like a sequence out of it and have like a cool thing. So if you have stories that are California best, downtown, uh, you know, these are going to be available, they're available now so we can use them. So I can't wait, guys. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, I kindly ask that you spare a minute to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So you're alerted when I post a new video, especially now that I'm going to be testing the Unreal Engine 5. How awesome is that? So, all right. The way you download it is you have you go to your Epic Games uh, launcher over here, go to the library. And initially, this was grayed out when I first launched it. And that was because I was using the preview too. So I just unlock and I un installed my version i can't even say the words correctly i uninstalled my unreal engine 5 preview 2 version and then reinstalled it so now it's a fully functional and it's available and i can't wait to continue testing it with my other projects that i've been working on so i think i can safely uninstall the early access although there are some projects that i created in here that i just want to first make sure that they work properly in here there are projects that are created in Unreal, Unreal Engine 4.27 that I also have to test. So before I uninstall this and this one, I have to make sure that uh, the, it, all those things are working. And I know for sure there are some plugins that are already working for 4.27 that uh, may not be available yet. So I can't wait to dig in and see how this all goes. But for now, 
uh, you can go ahead and look at uh, some of this content that's compatible with Unreal Engine 5 and check it out. You know, it's so cool. <laughs> Amazing. All right, guys, that was for the update for today. Uh, if you don't already know, make sure that you go to the Unreal Engine 5 website and your Unreal Engine, the Epic Games launcher and download the Unreal Engine 5 so you can also take it for a ride and experience these awesome, awesome assets. Look at these vehicles. You know, so I saw them inside of uh, the Unreal Engine, but uh, I mean, there are some ones that, some vehicles that I don't see here, like there are some sports cars that I, I tested out. So they just gave you a few of them. Not, I don't think everything. This is just uh, 13 drivable ones. So I look forward to testing those. And then the sample buildings as well. Go ahead and check those out. They look awesome. Totally awesome. So we'll be able to create, use these to create your like a uh, procedural city or whatever. Again, I don't think you get every single thing, but since the project is available, you'll be able to uh, try it out as well and see if you can build. So that's what I'm excited about. So thank you so much for joining me again. Dare to dream big, don't give up. <laughs> what a day to be alive. <laughs> the Unreal Engine is finally, finally available and the Matrix experience is also part of it all. All right, so cool. Remember this video? When they first launched it, well, today it's finally, finally here. The Unreal Engine 5. So see you next time in the next video. Bye for now. Much love to everyone, guys. Bye.